You know, they have a chili that has people coming back from war. And that's why they're, they've been here for almost a hundred years. And you can get your chili. They have the chili spice pack. You can make your chili at home. They're not going to tell you exactly what's in the spice, but hey. And uh, I will be doing a Tanks Cooks episode. Mm. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tanks Cooks. The weather forecast is chilly today, hot tamale. Yes, that's right, I'm making chili, which also means chili dogs. And one of the places I went this year, last year, well, was um, Moore's, the Moore's famous general store in um, Lynchburg, Virginia. And they have chili dogs that they say is, their, is one of the best. And it was very good. So they gave me this, uh, I got this bo box to make the chili myself. Well, I'm starting right here, and I'm browning some meat. I mean, this tool has been valuable to me. So let's chop up the meat and brown it. Mix up the meat and brown it. While it's browning, we'll add some zesty zestiness to it, which means bum 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 bum. Sand. We'll throw a little, yeah, yeah. We'll throw a little chili powder on there. Just for making some chili. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Stir it around a little bit. Pa 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 paprika. Da 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 da. Pa pa paprika. Got a little bit of uh, bread. Zest it up. Zest it up. Zest it up. Pepper, pepper, pepper. All right, so we're browning the meat. Now we got a pot here. It's got six cups of water. And you get back in the pot. Six cups of water in this uh, saucepan. What we're going to do is now we're going to scoop our meat in here. I'm trying to avoid putting as much uh, grease as we can possibly can, but a little grease doesn't hurt anybody. Da, da, da. Pour it into the pot, pour the beef in the pot, gonna beat the pot. Pour the meat in the pot. Let's put some meat in this pot. Don't want to get that much grease, but we're going to pour the meat in the pot. Pour the meat in the pot. Pour the meat in the pot. All right, look at that. See, we didn't put that much oil in this time. Save a lot of the grease. Scoop some off over here too. Here we go. It served me well. In the arms of an angel. Guess I'm going to get another one. Now we're going to throw in the uh, Moore's uh, chili mix. We'll cut the here. And let's pour it into the pot. Ooh, look at that. That's red. That is red. All right, we're going to mix it in. Mix it with the water, stir it around, stir it around. Now it says that we can put some chopped onion in here, but I'm not chopping up an onion today. I'm gonna just put some 
uh, onion soup mix, which will be basically the same. We'll put some uh, minced onion in here as well. And, oh, of course, this has onions. Don't have too much onion when you mix up the onions. Oops. Why is this falling? Everything falls on the fucking floor! Alright, put some minced onions in here. Put extra chili powder in here, just so we chili it up a little bit more. And it says use a uh, flat edged uh, spatula or a rubber spatula, as it's sometimes called. And we have to meet, mix this up until it starts to bubble. And we have to continue to stir. Stir, 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 we're stirring the chili. Stir, 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 stir up the chili. Stir, 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 stir up the chili. Stirring up the chili to make some chili dogs and chili. Chili, chili, chili. Chili, chili, chili. chili. A bubbling brew. All right, it says. When it starts to bubble, turn the heat down to a high simmer. So I guess we'll put that down just a little bit. And we have to continue to stir it uh, regularly. All right, I've been stirring constantly and it's been uh, for about 15 minutes on a medium simmer. And the chili is starting to get chilly. A rubber spatula. Look at, look at it bubble, look at it bubbling. You know what that means. Gotta turn it down a little bit more. Simmer, we'll continue to stir constantly. Just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. All right, now we're making some hot dogs. So we're gonna be making some uh, dirty water hot dogs. So we're gonna get the uh, pot ready. Now, when I cook dirty water hot dogs, people throw the hot dogs in the water and they let it boil. No, 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 you let it boil first, and then you put the hot dogs in. And I like putting just a little bit of oil into the hot dog water. We're nowhere near the finish line. We're still stirring the chili regularly. Uh, we'll keep it on a low simmer as we get ready to put in our hot dogs. And of course, we're using some Brett's hot dogs, you know. When you're cooking a dirty water style hot dog, nothing is better than Sabrettes. So we put uh, three dogs into the pot here that's been boiling. You see, you put the hot dogs in when it's finally boiling. And you cook it for like seven minutes. Of course, this packaging is very good, very strong. You have to really cut the close to the dog. You say, really, pack these one well, especially the natural casing sabrettes. These are the, they are the top level sabrettes, and these are the ones that really have the great snap and the great taste. So we'll put these three dogs into the pot. We're gonna cover the pot. And on top of the pot, we're gonna put some hot dog rolls so you get a little bit of a steam effect from the pot. Steam effect from the pot. Get the steam effect on the pot. Not gonna stop until we get the steam effect on the pot. All right, there we go. This will be like steaming the rolls a little bit. All right, we're done. You know, it's time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. We got some nice steamed hot dog buns. And now we'll grab our hot dogs with the tongs. Tong, tong, get the hot dogs out. Get the hot dogs out with the tongs. Look at that, look at that. They crawl up. These is this when you know you have a great snap, when it has that color. That's why you get spread hot dogs, they're high quality. Since we're making chili dogs, I always like doing a little, just a little cheese at the bottom. First, salt melts onto the dog. So I'll put a couple of little cheese on the dog. This is the dog getting the cheese tax. The cheese tax. The cheese tax. And you grab a little bit of chili and put it on to the, to make the chili dog. The more from Moore's Country Store. There it is. Ooh, chili, 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 chili. On to the dog with the chili. 
here we go. Bring a little bit of excess liquid just so you get this. Now we put a little more cheese on top. Cheese tax, cheese tax. And this is how Tank makes chili dogs. And we use then how we make a fresh pot of chili. No, it's no beans. You, you can make chili with beans. Well, if you're putting chili on a hot dog, it cannot have beans. It ruins the chili dog. All right, now there we go. Now it's time to enjoy. So let's see how this came out. Looks good. Very spicy. Burn your mouth spicy chili. I think my mouth might actually be on fire. Yeah, my mouth is on fire. This might be the hottest, spiciest chili fucking ever. Well, manja manja. <laughs> Let's eat! Let's eat! And if you have any other recipes, send me ngtank99 at gmail.com. Hold the fire department. I think my, my mouth actually might be on fire. Thank you for tuning in.